Hey there, once again, it's Felix here from HeyDon'tShoot.com and today is kind of a bittersweet day for me because I'm saying goodbye to my beloved Zeiss 16 to 70 millimeter lens. This lens has been fantastic. I, some of my best shots have been with this lens. This is probably your best choice for an all around lens for a camera like the Sony a6000 or the a6300. If it's such a good lens, why am I selling it, right? Well, if you've watched HeyDon'tShoot.com, you'll know that I'm a bit of a gearhead. I've got way more lenses than I'll ever use. I've got way more cameras than I'll ever use. Some of my cameras I might shoot with once a year. Some of my lenses I've only used a few times. Now, this particular lens has been a workhorse for me. I've used it in so many situations. It's probably the most versatile lens in my whole collection. At 16 to 70 millimeters, it's just fantastic. It's wide enough for beautiful landscapes, but you can zoom in to 70 millimeters if you need to get in nice and tight. So if it's such a great lens, why am I selling it? Well, as I mentioned, I'm a gearhead, so I've got another lens that virtually overlaps this lens. This is the Zeiss 24 to 70. Now this is an FE lens, that means it's for full frame sensors, but it works perfectly well on the Sony a6000. So there's no need for two lenses that are almost the same. If I need to go wider, I also have the Zeiss 16 to 35 FE. So I got the full range covered and I, I think it's time to sell it. So let me tell you a bit about the lens. The lens is a F4 lens. Now, some people look at these Zeiss lenses for the Sony a7 series that are at F4 and think, well, how come it's not 2.8 and don't you want a 2.8 lens? Especially with this lens at the wider focal lengths, you're not gonna really be shooting wide open that often, maybe in, lo in low light. But I've t I tell you what, I have used this lens in low light situations at F4 and it is just fine. The Sony mirrorless cameras, you can bump up the ISO and you don't really lose that much quality and there's very little noise. So F4 is just fine. And the Zeiss glass, the quality of the Zeiss glass more than makes up for it. Also, because you're talking about E-mount lenses and aperture F4, you can make a smaller, lighter lens. For example, this Zeiss 24 to 70 that I already mentioned, Sony came out with that G Master 24 to 70 at F2.8 and it's enormous. It's much bigger than this. The size and weight of this is very reasonable. Same with this 16 to 70. You can see how good it looks on that Sony a6000. Just really nice. Brand new, this lens sells for close to a thousand dollars. I bought this one used but in like new condition and I mean it was pristine. It was 10 out of 10. I bought it when I was in Korea, I think maybe a year ago or a year and a half ago. I paid 850 for it at the time. I think the equivalent might have been about 820 US dollars. And I just sold this one on eBay for $650. I had it listed for 710. I figured that was a fair price because although it's in fabulous condition, the glass is in great shape, it's perfect. Um, you know, I've gotten a, a lot of use out of it. So somebody made me an offer and 650 is a fair price for this used lens. So you can expect to pay about the same if you're buying used between 650 and $750 but brand new, it's gonna run you about $1,000. Let me just show you how much it extends. So that adds quite a bit of length to the Sony a6000 when you do that, but it's, it's reasonable in that, like I said, the lens is lightweight, so it's not that big, big of a deal. Comes with this lens hood. It's just a plastic lens hood, nothing special, nothing fancy. I have on it, of course, a UV filter. There's not much else to say about the lens. I mean, it's just fantastic. Anytime you see that Zeiss logo, you know it's gonna be good. And to prove just how good the Zeiss glass is, we're going to take a look at some sample images.
I almost forgot to mention another fantastic lens and another reason why I was comfortable selling my Zeiss 16 to 70 millimeter. It's this one, the Sony G 18 to 105 millimeter. It's a perfect pairing for the Sony a6000. I plan to use my Sony a6000 until the shutter simply wears out or it breaks and I want to have a native APS-C lens for it and this 18 to 105 fits the bill. So there you have it. The Sony Zeiss 16 to 70 millimeter lens with that T-Star coating. I hope you enjoyed this short vlog. Once again, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you think about this lens and subscribe to our channel.